Hello and welcome to today's Twin Flame reading for the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine and the current union energy going on in the middle cards. Um, I have chakra cards here today, the chakra reading oracle cards by Rochelle Charman, and then I also have a notes from the universe on abundance card by Mike Dooley. And um, we're moving into Leo season, or like we have. Um, and so that means, of course, if you know, you're a Leo, happy um, birthday, whether that's uh, coming up or even if it's today. Um, and for everyone included, you know, just remember that like any sign um, still applies to your life somehow. And of course, it, there's a depiction of it in your chart. Uh, even if there's like no planets or anything in that particular sign, it still plays a part within you. And um, what Leo is really about is, especially right now, I would say, is you know, nurturing the inner child, uh, giving yourself attention in the places where you may have been focusing your attention elsewhere. And so, yeah, the places that really like are that embodiment of the inner child of you. So that's probably going to include expressing your creativity and kind of wrapping up any sort of uh, anything you were trying to do with that more cancer energy of improving your home or even your kind of home within, so to speak, so that you have more of a foundation to be creative from. So it's kind of a transitional period right now uh, where, yeah, you're moving into um, hopefully having made a little bit more of a foundation or a lot more so that you can express yourself creativ creatively and uh, maybe like, uh, you know, work through some more of those blocks. And I know for me, like my painting supplies just came like a couple days ago and um, you know, I had to clean off my shelf a little bit where they go, and so now I'm in the process of kind of remaking space for me to be able to continue painting again, just in a more balanced way um, that really integrates into my life, and that feels really good. And it feels good to be able to share that gift too, because it feels definitely like it's um, integrated into my life purpose. And of course, that's always something that continues to get revealed to me. Just same for you, you know, if there's something you feel is a part of your life purpose, it probably is somehow, but sometimes you need to empty your cup in that area to really receive the full gift of what it is that you're actually meant to give. Um, and it's just safe to like go through cycles of that and uh, deepen into that and say yes to the opportunities also that God truly gives you and uh, just choose to receive guidance you know for when an opportunity is a true opportunity and when something's trying to like pull you into an old vortex it's usually pretty clear because like the old vortex thing doesn't feel good and there'll be some kind of a weird closed-ish door even though it feels like it's almost an open door kind of thing. Um, whereas, you know, the new vortex might feel a little bit more like a leap of faith or it might feel, you know, like a little, like you've got uh, sea legs, you're just stepping onto fresh land kind of thing, but it feels good and invigorating and the door is open for you to walk through. So we're moving into the vortex, so to speak, of Leo season, and you can look at it that way and feel into that bright, shining energy. It's also related to the solar plexus and uh, the sun. So yeah, very summery energy, um, even if it's not summertime where you are. Still, yeah, you can, you can feel into what that what that means for you, but uh, definitely personal power. And maybe these chakra cards will have some more information for us. So let's just get started with that. So we'll start with the Divine Masculine today and um, see what his chakra card is. And it is inspiration. It's a beautiful card. Um, yeah, so it's just time for the Divine Masculine. Um, this is a green light to tap into your creativity, to be inspired 
and to nurture you know your inner child but also your sacral chakra in a way that feels balanced and like it is like it's healing the inner child um aspect of your sacral chakra so that creative expression um you know healthy uh way of expressing love towards your twin flame that you know just kind of is renewed, refreshed, so it's um, safe to just look for inspiration for that and uh, to, yeah, create from that place. It's very nice, pretty card. And the Divine Feminine's card is listening, so the Divine Feminine is listening to herself. She's listening to her inner child, and you can see how it's like this outer and this inner. Um, and it's interesting because in Chinese medicine, you know, the ear um, can have to do with, like, uh, a baby and, um, well, it just looks like that to me. It's like um, you're listening to the newborn within you, so to speak. And, yeah, that's just really... It feels really peaceful, you know, just, it's like, it's, yeah, you could go deeper with the message, but I don't really think it's a time to do that, especially given the more, like, outward energy of Leo. I think it's just time to, like, keep it simple with this message and to just love yourself there, really, you know, and, and see how you're also supporting your man by just, like, loving that really infant Part of yourself and nurturing that uh, inner baby and inner child into a place of her true self-expression. So anything that has been, you know, supposedly kind of mucked up or whatever in the past, it's safe to let that go and feel a sense of renewal and rebirth, a renaissance of your creative self-expression, if you will. So, feels really good. Bust out the paints, the, um, you know, drawing supplies, the writing, you know, the journaling, or whatever it is that you, um, that, you know, this speaks to you personally about, uh, maybe singing, could be music, too, especially with the listening. So, could also be a good time to go a little bit deeper with your musical tastes and, uh, nurture yourself, like, with sound, with what you're listening to. So that feels great. And um, now we have a notes from the Universe on Abundance. I don't know what that clicking noise was, but I guess like, I don't know if it could have been the cards. Um, something wonderful is happening for you right now from me, the Universe. This is like one of the most simple cards in this deck. That's so funny. So I think we're really getting notes of simplicity here of just like, uh, focusing again on those really, um, I guess, like, basic, primary, simple ways of being that your inner child really appreciates and gets pleasure from. So it's the idea of first learning how to mix colors and all the colors that can come from just the basic colors. And it's enjoying, you know, maybe some of your some of your favorite foods. It doesn't need to be something fancy, right? Like just enjoying the um, the simple pleasures, but also just enjoying the simplicity of your own spirit and of your own love. Like love is not complicated. And so something wonderful happening for you doesn't need to be complicated either. So it's safe to surrender that and to let it be easy and to receive the wonderful thing that is um, being given to you, you know, and just move forward with it. Listen to your guidance, trust it. And uh, again, you don't, you don't need to accept anything into your life that feels convoluted or like, um, I mean, just essentially like ego trying to talk to you, right? So, um, yeah, from this place, more complex things, on the other hand, can grow, and complexity can be really beautiful when it's when it comes from a place of love. So, yeah, just let let those building blocks come back to you that you have been willing to surrender, 
and go more deeply into love with and know that like they're being returned to you in a brighter, more plentiful way, a way that is more, um, it's just better for you. You know, God knows what it is that you need and what you desire. And so just, uh, yeah, open your heart to receiving and to your personal power. And then the last card is so perfect. Wow, look at that, creativity. So yeah, I mean, just I think an extra reminder to both Twin Flames to tap into your creativity at this time and um, don't be afraid of your feelings, of expressing yourself. Don't be afraid also of your sensuality, your sexuality, um, and going deeper with um, healing any energy leaks from the past there too, but in a way that, well, it should always feel good to do that, but just in a very like joyful way. So just like by healing that inner child and by, um, choosing to explore how you like to be creative and letting it both be a fun process, but also like a divine process. I mean, you can create really beautiful things, um, no matter your skill set, no matter your interests, in whatever it is that you pursue, you know, if you have that desire there, and just know that there's that, there is that capability to create beauty in your life, and that that's a really healthy thing to desire and to do, and, you know, people creating beauty is going to look um, pretty different often person to person. Sometimes there's a lot of similarities, too, like I've seen people um, I'm surprised, you know, like paint very similarly to me and, you know, just it shows too though that we all are one consciousness and, um, yeah, just because someone has a lot of similarities to you, the last thing I'll say doesn't make them your twin flame or even, um, kind of appearing to do things similarly. It's a sense of oneness within. So just if you are exploring that or on any level and who your twin flame is, it's important to, yeah, pay attention to all the things. But first and foremost, it's a feeling. It's not something that you can see on the outside. And um, so, yeah, it just has to be revealed to your heart. And God will and does provide that revealing process to you in the best way for your own journey, which is going to be unique to anyone else's journey. So it's just safe to take that ride, um, no matter where you're at with your union and keep going. And even if you are 100% sure of your twin flame and you're in harmonious union, it's safe to continually have that revealing process nonetheless. Uh, because, you know, we always want to practice radical non-attachment and because it's healthy to, to both of your whole selves to be that one whole self in that state of complete surrender. And uh, creativity can really help with that surrendered state and with communing with the divine and having that be like a really uh, just joyful process, you know, really beautiful, joyful process. So... Highly recommend doing that, you know, this week, getting started with something, um, even if it just is like a little scribble on some paper and that's all you, that's all you can manage, well, more power to you. And if it's, you know, a beautiful masterpiece, then that's perfect for you as well. And also, uh, take an extra step to show something off about yourself, you know, even if you're a little bit shy, if there's something you've been wanting to share with the world or even with just one person, Take that extra step um, to share to share your gift with another, and uh, allow yourself to be seen and you know your light to shine. So that's going to do it for today's reading. Uh, you can check out all the links below if you are interested in working with me on your twin flame journey. The work that I do it works, and I know it will work for you too. So, um, yeah, I offer introductory sessions and, of course, readings, and um, you can also look for other links below for resources. 
and you can subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to know when my readings are coming out, which are pretty much daily, so you can always stay tuned each day for more of them and for other spiritual and twin flame videos as well. So yeah, take care, have a wonderful rest of your week, and again, happy Leo season! Bye!